So hello Eugene, thank you very much for being with us today. The past 10 years of malware evolution, what do you think? How would you describe it? Uh, the evolution of uh, malware within the last 10 years depends, uh, well, it's described by the evolution of uh, people who developed that. And uh, 10 years back there, all the malware was developed by kids, just the teenagers, uh, script kiddies, uh, cyber vandals. And uh, they made uh, many uh, simple malware, as well as uh, some experiments with uh, high-end technologies. But uh, their motivation was just, just to have fun. And uh, we had uh, thousands of uh, just usual viruses infecting the system, uh, proof of concepts uh, infecting uh, Microsoft Office documents, uh, the first internet worms, uh, the first uh, smartphone viruses. Um, but that was not so serious. Uh, because uh, there, later the cyber criminals they took the place and uh, that was their uh, reason to change their malware behavior and uh, production. Because now they have, uh, we have uh, virus factories uh, which develop uh, millions of uh, malware, uh, thousands of their malware in the families and uh, it's, it's industries. What will happen in the next 10 years? It's a good question. Criminal scheme, and uh, they uh, they getting more organized. Uh, there are different types, different groups of cyber criminals. They do different jobs, and uh, they are focused on what they do. Uh, Carders, they are focused on uh, developing their uh, Carders stealing technologies. Uh, botnet autos, they are focused on the botnet management. Virus writers. Uh, malware writers, uh, they are uh, developing more and more complicated malware. So I'm afraid that in the next 10 years uh, there will, we will fight with uh, more and more complicated malware. And I think that uh, their malware production will be moved to their countries which have uh, more software engineers. Uh, to Russia, to United States, uh, China, India, it will stay there. And the rest of the countries, cyber criminals in the rest of the countries, they will simply buy the services from these countries. And uh, I'm afraid that we also see their malware attacks, which we will classify as uh, cyber terrorism. Uh, do you think that the adoption of uh, strong uh, cryptographical uh, techniques is uh, going to be a problem as well? Yes, well, what we see that cyber criminals, they use uh, extra technologies and they started to use uh, cryptographic systems to protect uh, their botnets, for example, to manage botnets in a safe way and uh, I'm afraid they will, uh, they will, have, they will use uh, more and more high-end technologies which will make our uh, work of protecting our customers and fighting with cyber criminals more difficult. So, um, how can users behave, uh, consumers or business users or governments? Uh, I think that uh, consumers, they have to pay more attention to the quality of antivirus protection. Uh, also, they have to switch their minds on and when they browse the internet and uh, they shall not trust any data from unknown or untrusted source. They have to understand that social networks is untrusted source. Don't, don't trust anyone in a Facebook and a MySpace. So forget about that because there are so many criminals there and uh, there are many uh, victims which uh, came from these social networks. Uh, enterprises they have to pay also attention. They have also pay attention to uh, their. Uh, their IT environment. They have to have the right architecture from the security point of view, right architecture of the networks. Governments, uh, I think that we'll see there several steps in uh, developing better internet security. Uh, the first step, I think, it's uh, Internet Interpol, uh, the international police uh, to investigate international cybercrime cases. Well, cybercrime is international because the internet doesn't have borders. 
uh, then I think uh, there will be more regulation in the internet. Uh, their local national laws will be adapted for the modern internet needs. And then I think they will have internet passports, internet government, what else? Because internet is just a new land, it's a new country with more than one billion population and 100% connected to the internet. Thank you very much. Very